Ooh, there's one. Ooh, got off. Look at that. Is he off or is he still there? Let's lay it back to him to see. There he is. He bit it. I got him to come back. How cool is that? I just laid it back to him. He bit it and I watched him get off. So I just quick grabbed it and laid it back and a lot of times that'll help because they're still following it. I mean, he still wants to eat it, but he snapped it, hung on for a sec, bent the rod, got off. Feels like a good fish. And I just laid it back to him in that simple layback. Got him to bite it. We're right here. Can't see him yet, but he feels like an awful good fish. Yeah, another great eye. Oh boy. That's one thing about these fish in the shallow water, man. They're, they are just wound up. Look at that. Another great fish off the gunnel. Another, another good one. Man, these fish are thick. Thick and strong. Look at that walleye. <laughs> that is cool. Cool stuff. Let me unhook this fish. I'll show you what I'm using. Cause this is a really easy thing to go do. And like I've said, you can do this in so many different rivers. You just need the right stuff. Look at that awesome walleye. Let's throw this guy back. And let me show you what we got here. This is just a simple split shot rig I'm using, okay? Today I'm using a, a size four split shot. And you can see it right here. I mean, it's nothing. It's just a size four split shot. And then I'm using a crankbait snap and I'm just clipping on a pre-tied little Joe spinner, okay? Man, I'll tell you, obviously the fish love them. But one of the things I would say is you look at this, people a lot of times don't think of fish and spinners in rivers. But when you're in this backwater, you gotta look at it like you're just fishing a shallow lake. And once you're in here and fishing this kind of deal, these fish, they'll, they'll chomp down a spinner and a crawler just as fast as anything else. 